Hey everyone, Aquaman here with Water Wisdom, sponsored by waterfilters.net. Today's product is the HT10 High Temperature Housing. Now obviously a high temperature housing is designed to be used on the hot water lines, and this system can handle temperatures in excess of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, so extremely hot water. Most residential applications won't have water any hotter than 140 degrees, so well beyond that capacity. Um, you're going to need high temperature filters to go inside of this, and so there are some that are designed for that. For example, this WP5 is good to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a uh, 5 micron polypropylene string wound sediment cartridge. And if you're looking for taste and odor improvement, uh, an example would be the EPM-10, which is good to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is a uh, 10 micron carbon block. And of course, this is an industry standard size housing that receives the 10 inch long, 2.5 inch diameter cartridges. Now, uh, it does use a unique O ring. Um, let's see if I can get it to pop out here. There we go. This is not your typical O ring material, it's a special high temperature. Um, not rubber, I, I believe it's a Viton O-ring and uh, appropriate for high temperature applications. Use the same lubricant, the uh, silicone, food grade silicone grease, but different O-ring if you go to replace it, it's not your standard O-ring. And uh, it has three quarter inch female pipe thread inlet and outlet. And there are lots of applications that you might use this. Um, one method for use is to filter uh, boiler water. If you're getting a buildup of scale, uh, you can capture some of that scale in a high temperature housing like this. Also, uh, those uh, high temperature uh, hot water heaters, um, the kind that, are, that sit outside and uh, you burn wood or garbage in them and it pumps the water into pipes that go into the home. Uh, in some cases, the water in those systems needs to be filtered and you need a high temperature system like this and there are other applications. If you're unable to use a water softener to deal with your scale problem, uh, sometimes you'll get scale particulate that comes out of your hot water heater and it ends up clogging the screens on your faucets and your shower head. You could install a filter housing like this after post water heater so that you can capture that precipitate that comes out of the water from the hot water heater. So a number of ways that it can be used, but don't try and use a regular housing on a high uh, temperature water line because it will destroy the housing in short order and possibly burst and flood your home. So you don't want that. This is the HT10. I'm your host, Aquaman. Thanks for watching.